Hey guys, welcome to the 54th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to generate a random string. So all you're going to need for this tutorial is a button. And once you have that on your form, just double click on it. So the first step in creating um, a random string is creating a character array that will hold all of the possible characters that will be in your string. For example, if you wanted to have um, your random string only be letters, well then you create a character array that would have all the letters of the alphabet in it. If you wanted numbers and letters, then you would just have um, a character array that will hold all of the letters and numbers. So to get started here, we're just going to create a character array, and we'll just call it letters since our random string will only have letters in it, and then we're going to set it equal to a string that will contain all the letters of the alphabet. Then we will use the toCharacter array method to convert it into a character array. The easiest way to um, type out all the character, all the letters of the alphabet is to just go straight across your keyboard and hit every letter since it's the easiest way. And, and it doesn't really matter what order they're in, so you can just do that. So I'm just going to go there. I just went right across my keyboard. And now, even though it really doesn't look like it since they're out of order, I have all the letters of the alphabet. And now we're just going to use the two character array method. And now this will convert it into a character array. So now this letters character array has all the letters of the alphabet. Now obviously we're going to need to be using a random class here. So we're just going to do random. I'm just going to call it R. We'll set it equal to a new instance of the random class. And basically what we're going to be doing is using this random um, class to generate a random number that will then be the index of the character array that we're going to be using. For example, if we generate a random number and then we um, get the uh, character that is in that element, then we'll just end up with a random character. So if we were to go right here and just do, just get a random character and display that in a message box, we can do that. So we could do like, we'll just do like letters. And then we'll use our brackets to access an element in that array. And then we're going to do r.next to generate a random index. And then since there are 25 characters in the, or 26 characters in the alphabet, we're going to um, set the minimum to be 0 and then the maximum to be 25. And then we're just going to um, put a closing bracket on that. And then we're just going to use the toString method to convert it into a string. So basically what this will do here is it will generate a random number that will then be the index of this letters array. So if we get a random index, let's say it's like 2, well it would be 0, 1, 2, and we'd get an E if it, was a, if it generated a 2. So C, it just generates a random character. And then we should just get that in a string. So we'll get a one character string that will be random. A C, then an H, so C it's random. And then you're saying, well, how do I make a string? Well, what you can do is you can use a for statement to loop through this code right here and just add it into a string. So if we're going to go right here and just create a for statement. And then we're just going to say i is less than 10 because we want it to loop through 10 times. And then we'll just increment i by 1. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to create a string for it to add the random character to. So we're just going to do string, and let's call it random string, so you go to an empty string. Alright, so now we'll do random string plus equals, so we'll be adding a character each time, and then we'll be doing um, letters, and then we'll just be getting a random character. So we'll just do r.next, again, we'll do 0 and 25, so we'll just get um, any random one in here. Let's convert that into a string. So basically what this will do is it will loop through this code 10 times. So it will just be getting a random letter and then adding it to this string. Now we're just going to display it in the message box to make sure that it actually got a random string. So it's going to be a random string. Alright, so now every time we click this button we should get a 10 character long random string. Yep, and they're different each time. 
And if you wanted to add numbers to this, all you'd have to do is just add all the numbers to this. And since we're adding 10 more characters, we're just going to add 10 to this. So we'll make this 35 instead of 25. And now we should get um, a random string with uh, characters, or I mean with uh, letters and numbers. Yep, we got a 3 in there. Click again, a 1, a 5, a 9, and an 8 in there. So. Yep, that's pretty much it for this tutorial on uh, generating a random string, so see you guys.